Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Sennheiser AVX mic system. And this variation that I have is the ME2. They also have other variations with handheld mics and you can check those all out on their website. I'll link it in the description below. And so I'm a one man crew. I do all this setup, tear down, editing all by myself. So anything that I can use to make this workflow easier and more efficient is greatly appreciated. And I have to say that this AVX system has definitely helped out because it's a very simple, portable, and efficient microphone system. And so before we talk about how it works, let's talk about what you get. And so with this system, you're gonna get a transmitter in the lapel mic, a receiver, an XLR to 3.5 cable, and a cold shoe, and then you also get a charging cable for the batteries for the micro USB ports. So first we have the transmitter, and since this is a lapel microphone, we need something for it to plug into. And this transmitter actually has a display, and it displays the connection strength as well as the battery life. And then on top, you have a mute switch and then an indicator light, which shows whether or not you're paired with the receiver. And then on the side, we have a power button and a button to connect to the receiver. And once you make that initial connection, each time there on after, it'll connect automatically. And then on the receiver side of things, you have similar buttons for power and syncing to the transmitter. And then you also have an AF out button, which will control your level of gain that you're sending to your camera. And there's four different levels. And there is really no tight manual control. You just have level one through four and you can cycle through them by pressing the AF out button. And those four lights will indicate which level you're sending out. And those four lights also double as a battery indicator if you short press the power button. And the receiver also has a light that changes from red to green once it's successfully connected to the transmitter. Now both the transmitter and the receiver have built in batteries. You can't just swap out like a nine volt, which some people might not like. And they also have a micro USB port on the bottom. That way you can charge them easily. Now both these pieces of equipment are pretty solid and sturdy. They're not too heavy though, which is nice because you don't want a big heavy battery pack sitting on your side all the time. But they are light, they're sturdy, and they're just, they feel like they're really made well. Now the mic that comes with this system is pretty nice. I'm not a huge fan of lapel mics to begin with, but I actually really like this one because I can have it out of shot when I'm sitting here and it still picks up my voice just fine. And honestly, when I have it up here, you know, closer to my mouth, I'm not losing a ton of quality and signal when I just have it just below the camera's eyesight. Now, obviously, if I'm shooting a really wide shot, I'm gonna to have to have it up here because it's gonna look stupid if you have it down around your stomach. But it's very versatile, it has a wide pickup range, and it just works very well. Overall, I think it's a really great mic system. It's portable, it's convenient, and it has great battery life. Like I said, you can't just swap out nine volts or anything, and some people might not like that, but with a transmitter, you're getting at least 10 hours of battery life, which I think is just awesome. And for the two months that I've been using this to review, I've only charged the transmitter twice. Now the receiver is smaller, so it's gonna have a smaller battery, and I've charged that about three to four times, and that's gonna get three to four hours depending on your use. And so I've been using this microphone for the past couple of videos that I've done, and I really like how it sounds. The only changes that I've done is just to take the bass a little bit out of my voice, because all microphones that I've used have really picked up the bass of my voice for obvious reasons. And other than that, I really haven't messed with the sound that much. And so I admit whenever I first got this, I was a little bit apprehensive because there was no tight manual control for the gain. And a lot of people don't like that. And if you like a lot of manual control for your audio, just making sure everything is just turned just right, this might not be for you. But after deciding what I wanted my gain levels to be on my receiver, I could then go adjust the camera settings and adjust the gain so it's not peaking on the camera. And once I got those settings set up, I haven't changed it since and it's been working great. And another important factor is that you can use multiple AVX systems at a time in the same production area because they all connect on a different signal. That way, none of your signals are gonna mix and you're not gonna have any interference. Now, this system comes with a price right around $900. It varies with which setup that you get, what microphone, which lapel. And I understand that that's not for everybody. But if you want to invest in some good audio that's portable, that has great battery life, that sounds really good, and it's just very easy to use, this would definitely be a good choice and I will link it down in the description below where you guys can check it out. And so that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks to Sennheiser for sending this system out for review, and thank you to you guys for watching and for all of your support. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos from me. And if you've used any Sennheiser products or the AVX system, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. And so thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.